Well, guys, in today's video, I'm going to talk to you why you shouldn't buy your chicken feed or probably any other feed from Tractor Supply or anywhere else before you check around. Guys, this is what a thousand pound of bulk chicken feed looks like. We got this in a bin. We got another thousand pounds at the ton we just bought in metal drums that we're feeding out of. But this is 16% laying pellet and it's non GMO. It comes from a local feed mill or an hour away, which is local for us here in the rural county that we live in. But anyway, let's go inside out the cold and talk more about it. Okay, so let me get into why we don't buy tractor supply feed for our chickens or any other animals here at a lot of Pass Ranch. It's not for the reasons that a lot of other people have been making videos on. It's not because they don't stop laying eggs. We have no idea. Maybe something to that may not be. I'm not going to form an opinion on that. But in fact, in my state and my county, the Feed here is way more expensive, and I'm not going to pay more for feed when I can get actually a bit, probably a better feed, a non-GMO where Tractor Supply is not advertised as a non-GMO, it may be. I haven't seen any literature on that. But anyway, let me get into what we do for feed and why we make the choices we do. We've got more than one, more than one option here for feed. We have three that I've got compared here, but there's more. There's also uh, farmers co-ops, which I've checked into in the past. And honestly, they don't come in much cheaper than Tractor Supply if you bought, bought it in bulk. Now we normally buy a half a ton to a ton at a time here in a lot of path ranch because we go through a lot of chicken feed and we get it so we don't have to, because we have to drive like an hour. We call it a local feed mill, but everything local here is 45 minutes to an hour and a half away. So. We have to drove up, drive over an hour to get it, so we buy it in bulk when we go. So all my prices here are based on a, on a ton. You don't have to buy a ton at our local feed mill to get the same pricing. You can buy one barrel, whatever. They sell it by the pound. So whatever amount you want, there's a, the discount's the same. So. <clears throat> so on a ton of feed at Tractor Supply, it would cost us here and there's no taxes in the county that our tractor supply is at. It would be $712.02 for one ton of feed, right? So that's 2,000 pounds. Now, Rural King, we love Rural King. A whole lot cheaper all the way around than tractor supply. We have a Rural King a little bit further away, and it's in, a, in another county where there is taxes. So you're going to pay fi almost $50 in taxes, $49.64 in taxes. Rural King for a, a ton of feed is six hundred and one dollars and twenty four cents so so there's a there's a savings there already there's like a dollar uh hundred and twelve dollars in savings over over tractor supply right there just a rural king that's things you have to keep in mind with it to get this you have to buy bulk to get a discount so at rural king you're getting you're getting uh three and a three and a half percent discount and, and, and at Tractor Supply, you're getting a 5% discount. And I don't know how many bags you have to get to get that. There's also another thing. You're comparing prices, watch out for this. This is where Tractor Supply is out to get you. They got 40-pound bags. They use a smaller bag to, to bring their price point down and make it seem like a better deal when you're looking at the sticker or in the store or you're looking, looking online for your feed. They got 40-pound bags where everybody else pretty much has 50-pound bags. Like Rural King sells it by 50-pound bag. So, so do, you have to do some math there. That local feed mill, we don't get it in bags. Unless you get it in a ton, then it comes in a giant 2,000 pound bag, which is what what we do when we get a ton. You can put it in your barrels. They'll, they'll put it in whatever. They'll dump it right in there for you, fill them for you. But at, at our local feed mill, we pay 466 for a ton, $466. That's $246. There's no taxes there either. That's two hundred and forty-six dollars and two cents cheaper than uh, Tractor Supply, and that's also at Rural King. That's one hundred and thirty-five dollars and twenty-four cents cheaper than Rural King. Now you might say, "Well, I, I don't need two thousand pounds at a time. I don't have nowhere to store that. I don't have that much money to buy it once." But it all comes out the same. You go to 
that local feed mill, like I say, you can get one one drum, which is 250, 270 pounds or something. That's not a lot of feed when you get in 50 pound bags. I mean, and I'm sure they'll sell you a half a drum, a, a five gallon bucket, whatever. So, and they, and they may have bags there, you know, just unbranded bags, feed bags. And it's gonna cost a little more that way, I imagine, to pay for the bag. But st still, yeah, if you go to Tractor Supply and Rural King and buy these by one or two bags at a time, you're not going to get that three and a half or that 5% discount. So you're going to pay more. Plus you're going to pay taxes at Rural King. You got to watch out for these things. So, so those numbers per, if you do it by per 50 pound, that number is going to change if you don't buy in bulk at these, at these box stores or local feed mill. It's the same all day long. And you can, you can, that's, a, that's a lot of savings right there. I mean, $246 over Tractor Supply, which is so many people's go-to store. And even Rural King, 135 See, so watch out. Number one, watch out. See what, what size your bag is, if it's 40 pounds or 50 pounds. Number two, check see if there's taxes to be paid, because like here, here where we're at, in the same driving distance from us, one county has taxes on feed, the other county doesn't. So you so you got, you got the size of the bag, you got taxes. Then look at the bulk discount. Rural King only gives three and a half percent. Tractor Supply gives five percent, and they still come in a hundred and some dollars more on a ton. So you got you got to watch out for the percents, and then do the math and see what the overall outcome is. So will I ever feed Tractor Supply feed to my chickens? Highly unlikely, because they would have to really come off of their profit margins in order for that to happen. So I hope this helps somebody figure out what they need to do for for chicken feed whatever you do don't i suggest don't buy from tractor supply and i have nothing against the organization i i just have something against high prices so thank you guys for to listen that i hope that's that helps somebody and and go out and save some money on your chicken feed raise your chickens and eggs as cheap as you can feed your family in a better way and again local feed mill here non-gmo you, you can't you can't beat that compared to you know, plus you're buying local. It's all made. They're employing people here to, to produce it locally from local farmers. They actually own their own farm, and all the products come from them at this feed mill. And it's going to vary in your area. But whatever you do, shop around. Even if you don't have a feed mill, go find a rural king, whoever. Buy it from the cheapest place. Get the, get the best you can and do the best you can for your family. Thank you, guys. And as always, God gets the glory for the good in our lives. Jesus Christ is the Lord and Savior. Feel free to reach out to us by email in the description for prayer requests or any questions you may have on this subject or the way we live our life or anything you can think of. Feel free to reach out. God bless and we love you. Mm -hmm.